You're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in isometric projection. Now, the first thing you do when you hear the word isometric projection is for you to draw your isometric axis. That is, you place your T square, your C square, your T square, and you draw a vertical line this way. Right? That is normal to the horizontal. You can see that. And you draw your Z axis this way. Right? And you draw your Y axis this way. Your X axis this way. So this is X, Y, and Z axis. Now, if you look at the figure closely, the entire length here is this length you see here, which is 100. So I'm going to measure 100 from this point here. From here. I'll measure 100 from 0 to 10 right and the entire width here is giving us 64 as you can see and that will give us from 0 to 64 and the entire height is given to be 75 as you can see from here I'll measure 75 right so from 0 to 75 is 75 here can you see that now I'm going to take my C square my and I'll project this point out from here remember it is resting on my T square so from here I will draw a vertical line up and I'll move to the other side also. I will draw another vertical line up. Hope you can see that. And I'll close it up with a 30 degree because you need to know that this length here is parallel to this. Then I'll turn it this way too. And I'm going to do the same thing here too. And I'll do the same thing here too. Right. And I'm going to close it up too. Hope you can see that. So I have successfully drawn out that box. The next thing you notice is from here to here is from here to here. And it is ticking. And I am going to what? Ticking it. In this fashion from this point to this point here now taking it you can see that and similarly I'm going to measure from here to the last point here is 64 is 75 but I will remove 16 from it first of all. So from here, I'll measure 16. Is that again? So let me measure the 16. So you see what I'm trying to talk about. So I'm going to measure 16 from here, as you can see from the screen. Right? So from 0 to 16. These are this point. Right? And the thickness is. From here to here is equal to from here to here and that is 15. I'm also going to measure 15 this way. So from 0 to 15. Can you see that? Which I am going to bring down vertically downward. You can see that? And it means that I'm still going to measure 16 from here to this side also, as you can see on the screen. So I'll measure 16 from 0 to 16.
you can see that i'll do that at the end too but from 0 to 16 because it is the same from this side to this side same the same from this side to this side so before i do that just to enhance your understanding if i'm going to do that i'll just take my instrument and i'll draw my line this way right then i'll also draw it this way too as you can see on the screen which i'm going to take in to save our time i also come here too which i'm going to take in to save our time right so i'm going to join from this point to this point now join from this point to this point can you see that then i can now take down from this point to this point which is from this point to this point hope you can see that similarly um from here to here is from here to here which is the same as saying from here to here and that is what 22 so i'm going to measure 22 from here to here 22 millimeter you measure 22 from here from 0 21 22 here can you see that that is when I will not take in from this point here to down here. Hope you can see that now from here to here is from here to somewhere around here, which I am going to take in from here. I'll draw a line this way. Right, and from here to here is from here to here, which I'm going to take in also because it's shown there. And the next thing is from here to here, which is from here somewhere around here, which I am going to take in also. Alright, now one thing you need to understand is from here to here is from here to here, which I'm going to take into this way. You can see that now i'm going to measure 12 upward from here to here which will be somewhere from here somewhere around here 12 upward and look at what will happen so if i measure 12 from this point upward from zero right to 12 which is here i'm going to draw a parallel line to this line here this way so if I do that, I'll the other line this way, faint line. So once I've done that, I'll get the center of that line. So how can I get center of that line? Is by joining the diagonal. To get center of a given rectangular shape, is to join the two diagonals. So if I join from here to here, it's meeting here. So meaning that this point here, and I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing here too, join the diagonal. If I join it, it's meeting here. So this is the center of this figure. So if I should take it up this way, meaning that the center of this figure is here, of this line is here, right? So since we are giving the thickness from this end to this end to be 30, so from here I'll measure 15, and from here I'll measure 15. So let's do that and see. So I place it here this way, right? I'm going to measure 15 from 0 to 15. And also from 0 to 15 right and i'm going to thicken it start again i'm going to what thicken it from this end here to this end hope you can see that now the next thing is this is at an angle of what 60 degree to the horizontal there are many ways you can go about that start again so what i will do now is I'll repeat this shape, draw it in orthographic view, let me draw it here. So you see what I'm trying to talk about. So if I should draw this this way, right, the thickness, I'll pick a point from here. So the distance from here 
3a, b, 48a, <coughs> 2a. Right? And I'm going to take it up from this point. Vertically upward and vertically upward. And the thickness from here to here is from here to here. Can you see that? Then I'll close it up this way. That again. And the distance from here to here is from here to here. And I'll close it up too. This way. Can you see that? Now, what I'm going to do now is this. I know that from this distance to this distance is from here to here and similarly from here to here they are taking these two distance here so what i want to do now is if i take my 60 degrees set square which is this once i place it this way the angle will now be 60 see what i'm doing if i take it in and i come here also and I also um, take it in. See what I'm doing now. And I also take it in this way. Out there. So what I need is the distance from here to here. So meaning that the angle here is 60 degree. Likewise, the angle here is 60 degree. So this point here, let's say here is A, B. Here also is what a b. So what I would just do simply is to take a distance from here to this point. Then I'll come here to take it from here to this point. I'll come here to take it from here to this point. Can you see that? Which I will not take my meter rule. I will not connect this point to this point. I also connect this point to this point. Can you see that? Then I will close it up at this point here. From here to here. And from here to here. Can you see that? So in doing that, I can also take this point from here. I'll take it inside this way. Hope you can see that. Now we proceed. Now you need to know that the distance from this point to this point is the same as saying from this point to this point, right? Similarly, from here to here. So I'll just take my instrument and I'll move it to that point. Then I'll close it up from here to here, right? And I'll also close it up too. From here to here, and from here to here. Can you see that? Now, in doing that, I can just bring it straight down this way from this point, straight down this way, right? And I will transfer this point from here, this point here, to this point, to which I can now join these two together from here to here. Hope you can see that. Then I can now bring this, transfer this point from here to this point here. Meaning from here to here. So I can bring that down. Thus, let's avoid use of faint line here first. Right? And also use of faint line here first too. First of all, I have my reason. Then you cannot join these two lines here from here to here. Faint line first. <clears throat> as you can see now is this one we want to do here now so what we can do here is this we'll get the center of the figure remember this is the center here right of this shape here so i can just sort of stress myself on doing the same thing i'll just transfer this point from here to this point and i'll now draw my horizontal line this way from here to here hope you can see that now it's it is 12 meaning that i'll measure six 
to both ends. So I'll place it here. Since that thickness of that plot is 12, I'll place it here, my zero here. I'll measure 6 to the left and also 6 to the right. Hope you can see that. So, and the length of this from here to here, which will be from here to around here, is given to be what? 70. So I'm going to measure 70 from 0 to what? To 7. The 70, which I will now draw an horizontal line this way. Can you see that? Then I will come take this from here from this point. I'll take it to this point. Then from here, I'll take it. No, I will not take in here. Then there's no need to mistake. But this is behind the other figure there. All together. So let me just dim this. Now after that, the next thing you will do is I can easily take in from here to here. And I'll take here up a little bit, faint line. And also take here up a little, I'll just take here up too, a little bit, faint line. Then the height given from that point to this point is 40. So I'm going to measure 40 from here to this point here. Can you see that? Which I can just stick in once and for all. Can you see that? And I'll close it up. From here, I'll close it up. Right? Then I can now join from here to here, which is from this point to this point. Then from here to here, it's from this point to this point. Can you see why I did not take in this side? So this is solid to be blocking the other part of it. Then I can now close up from here to here, as you can see from the diagram. Then I can now take in here now. And also take in here now. Hope you can see that. Now, if you found the video helpful, Please don't forget to like, right? Subscribe to and also you share your video. dimensioning. It Thanks is for watching very important. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe and also share the video. Thanks for watching.